basically, my name is uh, Amol Vidwangs. I have been in IT for the last uh, 25 plus years. Uh, I have been a CIO for multiple companies. Uh, and the last uh, four years, three years now, I've basically been working on my own, uh, primarily in the space of smart city, IoT applications in smart city, and uh, on waste management solutions. So basically, as a uh, evangelist, I am a vendor of, of uh, you know, I, I don't support any vendor solutions. I basically write on smart city, I write what are the solutions that need to be uh, incorporated in a smart city and how can they be spanned out. So that is predominantly what I do. Similarly on uh, the IoT stuff also, uh, the idea is to basically merge the, uh, you look at IoT solutions in smart cities and how IoT solutions in smart cities can be implemented. So predominantly I don't work for a vendor, but I write about smart city and IoT applications in smart city. So that is what uh, that is uh, primarily what I do. I work with uh, not the CIOs and CTOs. I actually work with the business. So what happens is we look at business problems and we try and uh, apply solutions to the business problem. So predominantly there's a business issue and uh, a technology plays a role of uh, you know supporting the business. So uh, it, in, in that context, I may work with the CIO, I may work with the CTO, or I may work with the business uh, owner himself. So that is the spectrum of thing. The idea is not to do give an IT solution, but the idea is to give a business solution. So predominantly that is how it works. And that's my role. So my role is to advise businesses uh, on transforming their business uh, to a digital uh, business. So we, I pay, primarily look at digital transformation of businesses. So, so basically what happens is uh, every organization goes through a journey. Uh, before they get into a digital transformation, uh, there are certain stages, you know, first you talk about digitization. So in the basic first phase of digitization, you uh, automate your basic uh, functions. Second phase predominantly goes into automating your certain business functions by implementing ERP, CRM, and those kind of things. And the third is basically the, the digital transformation where you look at, uh, uh, you know, the business as a whole and where technology can transform it, bet, do it better, uh, do it more effective and do it at a very cost effective way to do it. So that is predominantly how the uh, digital pillars, uh, to me, the digital thing uh, works. So digital transformation to me is uh, looking at, uh, you know, is, is, is actually the phase three part of it, where you look at every business function and see how can technology digitize it, help you to do the things better, cost effective. That is exactly how it operates. Again, as I said, uh, any organization which is on its journey on digital transformation, uh, be it in manufacturing, be it in uh, uh, you know any 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 uh, industry that. Uh, uh, is going taking up the journey of digital transformation. Uh, I play a role there, and I, I I can be advisories to them, and I work with them very closely. Uh, so basically, if you look at technology today, we I talk about IoT. I talk I talk about uh, robotic process automation. I talk about talk about industrial uh, 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 you know industrial IoT. So these are the spectrums in which we talk about. Then we, uh, that is this is on the technology side. Uh, on the service the delivery side, we talk about DevOps. We talk about uh, agile. So those are the technologies, those are the kind of frameworks on which uh, we, we work uh, with the customers. Yeah. So basically what happens is um, when you go to get into the business, you try and understand the business. So you understand what the business is, is, is current, what is the current state of the business. Second is you get into and understand what is that the business is looking for in the next five years. Uh, where do they see themselves in the next five years uh, in terms of the business and also in terms of technology. So they see, this is a role that the CIO needs to play. So I work with the CIO to formulate that strategy, the five years strategy, technology strategy based on the business needs of the organization. So that is my role predominantly, that is what I do. So basically, again, as I said, uh, one needs to look at the objective. What is the objective? If you want to move to a, uh, uh, you know, a customer centric organization, then you need to understand what are the technology touch points of, uh, you know, between the organization and the customer. 
what is the state of digitization of those uh, touch points second is what is what needs to be improved upon what needs to be newly brought in into the uh, into the system so if you look at that you do a detailed study of that you would be able to uh, arrive at what is working what needs to work what is what is that the future uh, what do you need in the future once you have that roadmap in place i think then the, the it becomes easier to plan and execute that uh, 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 you know the plan and uh, ensure that you have effective service delivery to the uh, organization and to the customers uh, so because of covid 19 what has happened is uh, organizations have learned to work uh, you know without, you know people have people did not come to the office people are working from a remote uh, site they're working from their homes they and that is what covid has done and because of that uh, the organizations had to have to implement certain technologies which they were not considering earlier so that is one uh, impact that has happened second is now uh, you cannot physically reach the customer so a lot of organizations have gone on a digital mode where they are trying to promote sell market their services and products digitally so i think that is a major major change that covid has brought in into the system just the critical challenges is the you know the basic thing is to take a decision that you want to digitize your business you want to do all your functions in a manner that is servicing the customer and in a in a digitized transformation whatever you're doing you're doing it for your customer so i think that is a big mindset change that needs to be brought in into the business and also in terms of the it uh, setup i think that is the uh, you know the key once you are able to do that i think then everything falls in place uh, then you look at every service every product that you have from a customer uh, point of view and i think once you do that you try you have you get insights of what exactly the customer is looking at what is that how you, how can you effectively improve the service or improve the product and i think that is the main crux of it and i think that is what uh, uh, you know is, is the key to success um, as a technology evangelist the, the, the technology evangelist talks about the technology it, he or she does not talk about a product they don't talk about a service they don't they don't talk about a particular organization or a particular it's more in terms of technology what is the general technology available in a particular uh, you know in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in a particular uh, what should i say in terms of iot if you look at iot what is that is generally available uh, and a technology evangelist talks about uh, and comments on the technology that is available they don't and what could be used as a solution by organizations in general it is nothing it is not specific to you are not talking about a particular vendor or a particular technology or a particular service you are talking in general of what is the technology available what can the technology do for the business how can the technology help the business i think that is the role of an technology evangelist the technology evangelist is is you know vendor uh, they don't talk about a particular vendor or a, or a product or a service right For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.